ICT Deputy, uh, Deputy Minister Modestus Amute said United Nations member states should strive to finalize the UN Convention on Countering, that is the use of information and communications technologies for criminal purposes. Now, Minister Amute made these remarks during the 2024 China-Africa Internet Development and Cooperation Forum last week. The, for the forum was themed Building Safeguards for Cybersecurity. Now, the Deputy Minister now joins us here in studio. Good evening and welcome to the Daily Roundup, Minister. Yes, good evening and good evening, Namibia. All right. Uh, now, first up, just talk to us perhaps about the main highlights and key takeaways that is from this uh, uh, mentioned uh, forum. Uh, thank you very much. Um, the 2024 China-Africa Internet Development Corporation Forum, uh, which was held in Xiamen, China, uh, from the 2nd to the 3rd of April this year, I was actually to go deeper into looking at the aspects of cooperation between Africa and China. And that was an initiative by China uh, in 2021, looking at how best it can strengthen uh, the cooperation with, China, uh, with, with Africa. And these uh, cooperations in terms of bilateral, multilateral, that started some way back with some of the countries, including Namibia. Uh, now this time it was to see how it can assist Africa transforming into uh, digital um, digital economy, uh, in total digital transformation for the benefit of Africa and its people. Uh, that, that was actually the aim for the sitting of this year, just to deepen further on what the parties have already deliberated on in the previous meetings. All right. Now, uh, Deputy Minister, how does Namibia view the role of China that is in fostering internet development and cooperation across Africa, uh, uh, specifically when it comes to cybersecurity and digital transformation? Yes, Africa is an important participant in scientific and technological progress when it comes to this cooperation. Uh, we are looking at the development of AI because the world today has rapidly moved towards AI. Mm -hmm. So um, AI has become the order, the order of the day mm -hmm. in, in, in most countries, including Africa now. Mm -hmm. But you see, now when you weigh the, either the utilization or the production or the research on AI uh, between Africa and other parts of the world, you will see that we, we are actually the least. And this is not what we desire. We admire to be where other, other countries are in the world. And therefore, this cooperation with China will bring us the opportunity to leverage um, our position in terms of uh, digital transformation. And therefore, when it comes to AI, the utilization of AI, it also go together with the use of internet. And internet itself does not only provide benefits to the users. Mm -hmm. It also come with uh, its challenges, like for instance, cyber crimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, this platform provide also uh, an opportunity to Africa to upgrade the cyber security systems mm -hmm. within the countries to protect the citizens. And uh, 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 this platform, that was also one or another item that was deeply discussed and the conclusion reached. All right. Um, could you provide insight on any agreements or any partnerships that is now during or that were forged during uh, this forum uh, when it comes to the relevant uh, uh, relevance of Namibia's ICT sector? Yeah, the forum was more focused on strengthening policy dialogue and communication and promoting the establishment of China, Africa, AI policy dialogue and cooperation mechanism. Mm -hmm. So that is actually just to make um, uh, to make us as, as one unit. And when I say one unit, I'm referring to Namibia together with other African countries because uh, under this forum, it, it's not a one-man show. It's mm -hmm. not Namibia playing an individual role. Mm -hmm. It is us as Africans playing a combined role 
to make Africa visible when it comes to either the manufacturing, the research, um, the use of AI technology. And therefore, to Namibia, um, we, we see this as a very uh, good opportunity for us, uh, not to lag behind, but also to move together with uh, the rest of the African countries, and also to make use of this opportunity provided for by this cooperation um, to improve on our uh, cyber security uh, mechanisms mm -hmm. and programs, and also to influence our legal systems when it comes to the protection of our citizens on the use of uh, internet. Uh, we, we need our people to be safe when they use uh, the, the cyberspace, mm -hmm. and we also want our people to benefit from the use of uh, internet forums. Absolutely. Mm. Now, Deputy Minister, uh, are there any specific opportunities that is not only for Namibia, but Africa, uh, more other African countries, uh, that uh, when it comes to deepening uh, collaborations with China, maybe just talk to us about any, if they are. Yes, there are, there are, there are definitely, and that's why we are still interested to continue collaborating with uh, China mm -hmm. and, and the rest of the African countries in, 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 in this context. And the benefits, I want to list them, mm -hmm. um, maybe three or four. Uh, number one, I would say um, the platforms can prom promote collaboration in terms of technology research, mm -hmm. development and application. That's one. And there is also... Um, a collaboration between China, uh, and, and I'm referring to Chinese enterprises, mm -hmm. apart from the Chinese government itself, the universities, scientific research uh, institutions, mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, institutions that are deeply involved in AI technology. So uh, they can collaborate, especially in the areas of big data analytics, machine learning, a natural language processing and com computer vision. And Namibia can also look into conducting talent exchange and capacity building by, for instance, advocating to strengthen AI talent. Mm. Uh, we can exchange between our learners, our students, and those of China. Mm -hmm. uh, and during uh, our deliberations, we also actually emphasized on especially having our students, our youth, uh, being taught uh, in, in China uh, so that they go through various experiments actually to experiment how others are doing it other than doing it here yeah. and, 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 and base their knowledge at the end of the day on, on on, on theories. Mm. So we have done a lot of theories and this time we think it is time for us to do practical things that is actually now after researching, uh, analyze the data from the research and transform this into a practical manufacturing of items. And uh, that is where beneficiation comes in when we talk about internet bringing opportunities to the youth in terms of employment. That's actually to say uh, Namibia, for Namibia, we see, is at a, we see this at a, as an opportunity for our youth to learn how to create a cell phone. Mm -hmm. But not only a cell phone, but also the softwares for the cell phone. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we are also talking about creating soft, softwares to protect the use of the cell phone. And that's, that's now cyber security uh, issues. So this is actually the opportunities that can be availed only through uh, proper and deeper cooperation with those that are in the better know, like China in this case. All right. Now, what role does Namibia envision for itself uh, when it comes to uh, looking at the future editions of China Africa in, uh, Internet Development uh, uh, Forum, and what contributions does it, does it actually aim to make? Uh, let me say China has indicated willingness to work together with African countries uh, so that we can meet the challenges that are facing us in the development and transformation of, of, of the, 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 the digital 
a technologies, a digital economy, and uh, identifying opportunities within the digital transformation cycles. Uh, so we, we see strengthening of cooperation in the field of AI and also jointly build a, a closer China-Africa community with a shared future in, in the cyberspace. So that at the end of the day, we don't only benefit from the use of technology, which is very dangerous. You see, uh, more often uh, African countries are at the receiving ends because we use technology which we don't produce. Mm -hmm. But under this forum, mm -hmm. the idea is actually not only to use, but it's also to produce the technology that we're using. And uh, uh, for us, as Namibia and as Africa, this is a good opportunity if we can optimally use it to benefit us. Yeah. All right. Now, how does Namibia plan to engage with stakeholders, uh, including that is the private sector, the civil society, uh, when it comes to, 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 to capitalizing opportunities that are identified at this forum? From the beginning, we knew mm -hmm. that uh, this is not a one-man show. It is something that needs concerted efforts from all stakeholders. So, and in Namibia, we have a principle that says we believe in inclusivity. So everybody must be on board for us to realize our dreams. And the civil societies, the private sector, these are our stakeholders when it comes to development. In this journey towards a digital transformation, we believe our stakeholders can play a, a very big role for us as a country to realize our dreams of transforming our nation, ourselves, into a digital society. So definitely they can play a role because number one, when it comes to digital transformation, we are talking about uh, not only knowledge transfer, we are not only talking about the state probably uh, coming up with new laws or amending laws. We are not only talking about uh, establishing infrastructures and structures, but we're also talking about what is it that the private sector can do um, to grow the, the economy of the country, to grow the knowledge of the country. And that's where sometimes also private schools come in or private academias come mm -hmm. in and private scientists also come in. Mm -hmm. So really the focus here is to move together. Mm -hmm. And remember I said Namibia is also not going to work alone. The journey is a joint journey where all African countries are on board mm -hmm. um, uh, as well as our partner, China. So we'll definitely work together, and through this collaboration, we believe we can achieve higher. Because if others have done it, for yeah. instance, China, mm -hmm. why, why not us? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have definitely to take this as a departure point towards the better Africa. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, Deputy Minister, is there perhaps anything that you have taken out of this forum that you just want to enlighten the nation about before we let you go? Yes. Um, this was uh, a very good opportunity for Namibia to participate. Number one, mm -hmm. we have now learned that when we are talking about opportunities available um, within the use of internet, mm -hmm. it's not only to post the pictures on the platforms, on various platforms, but it means actually more on manufacturing. Mm -hmm. you, you, manufacture, um, you manufacture actually or, or technologies that are responding uh, to the needs that your society is facing. For instance, you, you look at how perhaps to come up with a car that moves on solar instead mm -hmm. of fuel, mm -hmm. uh, that is electronized instead of uh, uh, the, 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 the usual fuel that we know. You look at how best we can move our children from being computer users to computer manufacturers. These are actually the opportunities that we say internet brings with. Mm -hmm. So when we, we talk about internet has more opportunities than the challenges, for instance, of cyber crimes, we mean the manufacturing, the identification of our role to play in the manufacturing of whatever makes internet an internet, or AI. Mm -hmm. 
a, a useful tool. Mm -hmm. And AI and internet works together. Mm -hmm. So I believe um, starting within our educational systems, mm -hmm. uh, starting within the, uh, the creation of our policies, all these things must speak together at the end of the day so that they are supportive of our vision to make uh, Namibia a digital transformed society where opportunities are availed mm -hmm. through not only the use of technology, but also the identification, um, the research, and the manufacturing of, uh, of tools that make uh, the use of technology conducive for our livelihoods. So um, therefore, uh, when we are talking about digital transformation, when we are talking about digital uh, technology, I don't want us to leave it just here. We must also go further to educate our people. Absolutely. To educate our people on the benefits, but mm -hmm. also on the danger associated with the use of technology, mm -hmm. especially with regards to cyber so crimes. So, and this should be a responsibility of everybody mm -hmm. and not only the government, because government alone cannot uh, stand the test. We believe we will stand a better test if we are together. And um, my appeal to the Namibians is that let's believe and, and see to it and we move together with the world mm -hmm. because really either cyber crimes is with us yeah. but the use of technology is with us absolutely thank you very much absolutely well thank you so much uh, deputy minister for making time for us here in the daily roundup thank you very much all right now that was uh, modestus amutse deputy minister of information communication and technology just talking to us about the just ended china africa uh, internet development and cooperation forum now this is uh, the daily roundup just stay with us